Hey everybody, Jeremy Redmond here of Task Magic, and this is a this this video is a good one um, because we're learning from the basics. And what I call the basics, when someone is at the basics, I call that stupid. Getting stupid. So I'm gonna call this getting back to stupid series or stupid series. We have added over 4,000 customers to our browser automation tool, uh, and we've learned a lot of a bunch of stuff. We've learned a bunch of stuff about what helps people understand exactly how to do browser automation or web-based automation, the pointing, the clicking, the copy pasting. With Task Magic, we normally let you do anything. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. And when we let you do anything, there are a bunch of little things that could trip you up. And you'll notice this as we try to directly guide you with even more effective prompts you'll see guided steps inside the prompt window, as we call it. The prompt window is on the left, and then the browser window that we open is on the right. So see after clicking the type button, that tells you to go type in the, you'll get a prompt on the left-hand side, and it will say to do this action in the browser window on the right. Then once you've done that, so it says hit the type button, you'll hit it. You'll go to the right side, and it will say, after you're done typing, go to the prompt window and hit confirm. This series is to make you think intentionally and start from the basics while you're stupid. You're stupid. And working with those 4,000 customers, we've narrowed it down to two things to set you up for success. Limiting the number of apps that you can use to start, just to start. So we give you eight or nine of our most visited sites slash apps to start with. And then we limit you to one type of flow, data scraping. Most flows include some type of data, taking data from one site and then moving it to another or taking data from one site and putting it to a Google spreadsheet. You're scraping one thing or you're scraping, say, a list. It's also the most straightforward flow you can build with browser automation. Using a scraping flow, you will select from one of the eight or nine sites, like I said, uh, that we give you, or you can use your own custom one. You'll type in your user creds or make sure you see the cookie prompt. You'll go to your regular Chrome browser and then grab your cookies and then paste it in there. That is the best place because it skips the login. It saves your sessions, everything. So let us know in the comments what you think of getting started here because we're, we're going to release this as a freemium slash teaching model. Um, because like I said, scraping is at the forefront of what we're doing and it kind of helps you click, type and learn what browser automation is. So thank you so much for joining our getting stupid, getting back to stupid. Let me know what you think about that. All right, like, subscribe, say hi, thanks.